All right, next game. So he is going first. Probably going to lead off with nothing. That's surprising, to be honest. All right, so let's start off with a spring leaf drum. Next turn, we can drop a Tide Hollow Sculler. Nest Invader. I am not sure what exactly he's got going on here. But we'll find out. Ooh, okay. So, Prime Mage it is, and it's got a Titan. So next turn for sure, playing Steel Overseer, Ink Moth Nexus, the works. And all he's got is another Nest Invader. And Primeval Titan. Alright, fair enough. Steel Overseer. Alright. So if he does end up playing as Titan this turn, we will exile it with Path. <coughs> and then move on. Of course, it also depends on what he's doing with his Windbrisk Heights. I assume it's something nasty. Ha, <laughs> and he didn't activate it right. Oh, maybe he did. Another Primeval Titan. Fair enough. This is an interesting, <coughs> an interesting deck. I do have to admit, but can't have you using Primeval Titan, unfortunately. Let's see, I believe it's this one. No, it's this one. Fair enough. So next turn I'll be able to attack for, let's see. Well, obviously, it also depends on what exactly he's got underneath his Windbrisk Heights here. Alright, Path to Exile. And he'll get his Pride Mage back. And he made me miss the block. That's cool. Lotus Cobra. And I assume Pride Mage. That's not good. On the Steel Overseer, I imagine. Yep. And what's
What's that? Like a Bane Slayer? Yeah, the worst possible card that he could possibly play there. Alright, so that's game. Yep. So we'll try to do better next time around. <clears throat> Alright, so couple of options. Linvala doesn't seem as good as it did. He does have Pride Mage though. So that's good, I suppose, to have a Pithing Needle for that. And overall, I still think the Cyborg strategy here is fine. Possibly play a Linvala. Take out a Mox Opal. No, I think this is okay still. 